Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Racha HaKodash. Um, the name of today's lesson is going to be Esau's mouth must be stopped. And um, this is uh, an idea, you know, you know, spirit put in my mind a couple of days ago. I had jotted a couple of scriptures down. So, you know, spirit gave me some more scriptures on it. So I want to, you know, jump on it um but the brother y elder yashawamba he did a lesson this wasn't the one but it was with the same devil here i believe it was about maybe half hour long maybe if i'm not mistaken and he was going into cutting this devil this devil was a real demon and uh pretty much that's what esau does esau's whole agenda is he's not going to go down quietly when yahweh shai comes back he's going to try to fight back because that's what they've been prepping for even though the Lord is going to put the spirit on him to fight, but this devil is going to fight back to try to keep this, this raggedy-ass kingdom that he got, that he done brought to the brink of, of, of destruction, you know? So I just wanted to go through some scriptures because these devils, they like, like brothers been saying a lot, these devils do not want to let that white supremacy go. You know, there was another question that somebody posted, I'm not sure if it was on one of my videos or one of Yashawamba's videos or forget where, but they say, why is the Lord black? Because you're black? Well, first of all, there's no such thing as black people. Uh, uh, you have different shades of brown. And second of all, it matters for the truth's sake. You know, and I believe I put a, a question to them. Uh, did it matter, you know, uh, uh, that um, that he was white? Or did, they, did it matter that they painted him white or something along those lines? You know, and I haven't received any response from them, so I don't know what, what they said. But the bottom line is these devils, they're, they're the devil. That's what they were created for, and that's what they're going to do. You know, so our job is to keep teaching, and their job is to try to dismantle. They know that their kingdom is going down, so they're pulling out all the stops. And you have simple-minded so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the actual Israelites, fighting against us. You know, for, for cursing this man out, you know, and it's a damn shame, you know, you, you know, that, that you have uh, uh, these, these uh, Israelites that are fighting against the, the, the spirit of the Heavenly Father that we going out there in. But that's all right, though, because it's, it's meant to be that way. That's what they were appointed unto, and that's what's going to go down. So, like I said, I'm not sure the uh, name of the video this wasn't it, but this is the, the devil right here. This devil right here is this demon. And it, the more this devil talks, the more pissed off you get because you know his what he's saying is bullshit. You know? You know what he's saying is bullshit. But uh, let's move on. This is Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord power had made. Now the serpent is not talking about an actual serpent, a snake in the grass. It's talking about a person. This, this serpent was an actual man that was in the garden with Adam, with Eve, with the other nations, and he was pretty much the devil. He was more subtile. Matter of fact, let's look up the word subtile from the word Hebrew word Irawam. Subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible, crafty, shrewd, sensible, prudent. So he was uh, he was wise and wickedness. Now we know that the scriptures say that that uh, the knowledge of wickedness. It's not, it's not knowledge. Let's get that real quick. Uh, Ecclesiastes 19.22. It says, The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sin is prudence. So what this guy is bringing with his subtility is wise, uh, is, is a um, wicked counsel. And he's bringing uh, um, the knowledge of wickedness, you know, in trying to push it as, as wisdom. Look, look, Esau. I don't know if they went up there and told you. Your time is up, man. The gig is up. The Spirit of the Lord woke us up. We know what the deal is. You just got to deal with it. You know, now you're going to have simple-minded, other simple-minded Israelites that's going to follow you into their destruction. So be it. That's already prophesied. You're only going to get the ones the Lord don't want. All right? So going back, so it says, the, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath the most I said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now he knew what he was doing. So he knew that, that you could eat of the different trees, you know, uh, 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 physically. 
but mentally you couldn't eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But he did it to see because to, he knew what she was going to say to him. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High said, has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. Now, if this, now this is what the serpent said to her, this, this devil. And there was an actual man with color, and the spirit that was in that man is, was the same spirit that was in Cain, and it's the same spirit that's in Esau today. All right? It says, and the, and the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. So what he do? He automatically, as soon as he opened his pie hole, he started lying. Because that's what these devils do. As soon as these devils open their pie hole, they start uh, uh, lying. Now he'll tell, he'll tell part truth because it says, for the, for the most high doth know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and you shall be as God knowing good and evil. It's true. But he, you also were going to die because the Lord uh, forbid forbade uh, uh, speaking, I mean, uh, 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 eating of that particular tree, you know, uh, getting into the philosophies of that tree. So part of what he said was true, but he the, he started off with a lie, all right, because that's what the devil does, all right? This is Psalms 58 and 1. Uh, I'm just going to jump to the point. Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart you work wickedness. And that's what these devils do in heart. They work wickedness. So whenever you have a, a so-called white person, an Edomite, in front of you, talking to you, know that the shit that's coming out of his mouth is lies. No matter how sincere the guy may seem to be. I mean, unless he's, you know, a confusion of face, you know. But if you have a devil, an Edomite, talking to you, you know whatever's coming out of his mouth is nothing but wickedness and lies. All right? No matter how good it sounds. Yea, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. And look at the earth, man. Who's the one that's going around the earth, uh, fucking the earth up, bringing the earth to violence under the, under the uh, uh, guise of peace? The so-called white man. Mainly these the so-called American troops, you know? And that's, that's, who's, that's who's policing the earth, the so-called America, Babylon the Great. It says the wicked are estranged from the womb. So before the, 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 the uh, Edomites are born, they're estranged from, a room, from the womb. They're a different breed from the womb. That's why when you read the, uh, the two babies that were in, in Rebecca's womb, one, there were going to be two manner of people. So one was going to be righteous and the other one was going to be wicked. Now who is the wicked? Let's go to Malachi chapter 1 and we'll go straight to the point. Fourth verse, you can start from the first. Whereas Edom saith we are impoverished. Edom is the father of, of the... Uh, of the of the Edomite nation, you so-called white people. Whereof Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord, power of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Meaning anywhere where Esau or the Edomites are, they are the border of wickedness. They are the wicked. They are the children of the wicked. The devil has children on the earth too. And it's you so-called white people, you Edomites. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever... So the Most High hath a righteous anger against these people forever. That's why after this whole cesspool uh, uh, um, America goes down, the, the international bankers, the first thing that's going to happen to them is they're going to go into slavery. And after the thousand years of slavery that they served, then they're gonna, every, all Edomites are going to be rounded up and burnt up to get rid of this plague called the so-called white men, the Edomites. All right, so going back, uh, Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. So before they're even born, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. So we, we read an example of the wicked. That serpent was an actual man that was going around the garden and lying. And he went to the woman because a woman is the weaker vessel. She fell for the shit. She, she uh, uh, started dabbling in, that, in that, uh, uh, those wicked philosophies. And, and she committed the first sin and then caused Adam to commit sin with her. And, and what happened? Look at the world and the state that it's in today. So that was just off of that one lie. And look at, look at how, how the world is, is, is today. So just imagine these devils, man. Matter of fact, let me go to... Uh, just bear with me one second. Let me go to uh, the book of First uh, Maccabee. One and seven. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died, and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. So these are so-called white people, Edomites, so you could understand. 
And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, meaning the white man, the Edomites, started ruling. So did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied on the earth. Why? Because the so-called white man is the wicked. The Edomites are the wicked. And whenever they rule, they're going to rule in wickedness because that's what, what the spirit emanates from, wickedness. So back in Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop at their ear. Because once, <laughs> excuse me, once the so-called white man's pie hole is open, that's nothing but lies. And those lies are nothing but like the poison of a serpent. Once the poison of a serpent enters into the bloodstream, the blood starts to break down and coagulate and, and you die a slow death. That's the same thing with this devil. These, these things that this devil is saying in the Roman Catholic Church and the Christian Church and, and all these different uh, 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 philosophies that this devil got, it all leads to a slow death. No, because eventually the, the, the people of the world are being taken by, by this devil. Uh, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And verse 3, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Because this knowledge is not for everybody. Apostle Tahar, years ago, when we still had the school in, in Connecticut, years ago, he made a mention, he, he, he made a statement. He said that the Bible is only for the prophets. It's not even for all Israel. It was a, a, a guideline for Israel to keep themselves together. Together, you know, to walk the straight path, to separate them from, from the other nations. But for the most part, the prophecies and judgments and, and things of that nature of the scriptures only really be, and the mysteries only really belong to the prophets. You know? It says, so if this gospel is hid, which it is, it is hid to them that are lost. And there are many lost souls out there, even them that call themselves Israelites. It says, and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. Who is the God of this world? The so-called white man, Esau. You know, they're called the Illuminati. You know, you know, uh, there's many different names, the international bankers. Everything that's set up in this society is set up contrary to the scriptures of the Lord. And I have a list of scriptures. I don't, I don't really have a title for it. Lord's will, I could do another lesson on it to show you the, the difference, the, the things that, that the Most High says, you know, to do and not. And then the things that Esau does and says, you know, that you can do. And everything that, that, that the Most High says, Esau goes contrary against it. You know, the total opposite of, of what it is uh, spoken, what the Most High spoke of. Just bear with me one second. Um, just bear with me one second. Uh, just had a scripture that popped in mind for that lesson, so I just wanted to jot it down. All right, so it says, In whom the God of this world, the Edomites... So-called white people have blinded the minds of them which believe not. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the Most High, shall shine unto them. Because of the light of this gospel shine unto you, what happens? You're gonna be awoken. You're gonna be. You're gonna break that spell. Them chains of darkness of 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 Esau in in your mind. You know, the, the your mind being locked up in a chain, uh, uh, based around uh, what this world teaches is gonna be. Uh, burst it asunder and, and you're going to know the truth and you're going to see the truth and you're going to uh, uh, walk in a different path. You're going to think differently. You know why? Because because the Lord opened up your mind. But if you can't get it, then that means the Lord blinded you. So Psalms 58 and 4, their poison is like the poison of a serpent. So these devils, they are like the deaf adder that stop at her ear. They're, 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 when they open their mouth, nothing but venom is coming out. And that venom is toxic and that venom is dangerous. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Because we're out there speaking and saying, look, you so-called white people, you're the Edomites, you're going off. And what do they do? Instead of instead of uh, humbling themselves down, right? Which we know they're not. Instead of humbling themselves down and and uh, and uh, uh, acknowledging it, what do they do? They send their flunkies out there and their agents out there to try to uh, 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 overturn what we're, what we're teaching. But this gospel and, and this truth is not set up by men. This is this whole thing that you see, this Israelite, uh, um, the Israelite uh, um, nation, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is inspired by Yahweh, by Shem Shai, the Heavenly Father and His Son, and it's not of men; it's of the Lord. That's why it's it's increasing and is and is going on the way it is to this day. 
And you're not going to be able to stop it, no matter what you do, no matter how many people you pay off, no matter how many flunkies you say, say uh, uh, send. It says charming, never so wisely. So no, no matter what we go out there and say, they ain't going to listen. Because of the uh, parable of uh, Lazarus and the rich man, what did the, the rich man say when he died? He said, look, send one of my brothers, send somebody back from the dead and let the uh, others know, at least they come to this place of torture. In other words, at least they come into slavery in the future. And, the, and what did the Lord say to him? Well, they have, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Because the book is here. The men are here. You know, teaching. But they're not going to listen. Because it's not meant for them to listen. Break their teeth, O Mosai, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lion, O Lord. And that's the only solution. The only solution is to uh, bust this devil down and put him in slavery. That's the only solution. There's no other solution. You can't re... You can't... Um, you can't reform the devil, okay? You can't reform the wicked, all right? You, it, it can't be done. Uh, Jeremiah 13 and 23, it says, um, Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may you also do good that are accustomed to do evil. So you can't make him do good. Because it says, Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. Why? Because he is the wicked. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of rightness where he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. All you got to do is go to the land of Israel that they stole back in 1948. Look at that place now. You know, you figure if the people of the Lord, of the Heavenly Father was went back to that land back then, that there, first of all, there would be no wars on the planet. And second of all, it would be righteous over there. What is righteous about gay parades and homosexuals having rights and going around freaking off? What is uh, a righteous about uh, about having kosher pig when the scriptures forbid it, you know? But that just goes to show you that the people that are in that land now, them Khazars, them so-called Jewish people, they're not Israelites. They're not the real Jews. They're imposters and they're going to be blown out of that land uh, uh, by the prophecies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, so going back, it says, um, okay, that, that's pretty much it on that. Um, uh, I thought I had one more precept on here. Yeah, I had one more precept. Just bear with me one second. Yeah, I'm almost positive I had another precept on there. Yep. Just like I, just like I thought. All right, so let me go Psalms. Fifty-five and uh, twenty. It says he he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant because you can't trust nothing that this devil says. Whatever he tells you, ex expect the opposite, the total opposite. Whatever comes out of his mouth is nothing but lies and wickedness. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, and they'll come at you like that. Why? Because it, it goes back to that serpent, that that man in the garden that spoke subtly. Because the Most High created this devil to be subtile like that. Because the Most High creates both sides. See, that's that's a great mystery right there in itself. That the Most High creates both sides, but you know people don't don't uh, understand or accept that. Isaiah forty five and seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, will do all these things. So the Most High is the one that created evil. He, can, he makes peace. He makes darkness. He makes light. Because everything is balanced one against the other. Okay? It's a perfect balance. And the Most High is perfectly balanced. So Psalms 55, 21, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So you can't believe anything this devil says. You know? So that's why the, the solution for this devil is for him to be, be chained up. And his mouth stopped. Because that's the only way it's going to happen. With, with, that, with that lead pipe crashing over his head. You know. And, and chains around his uh, ankles. Around his uh, wrists. Around his neck. Around his waist. You know. That's the only way this devil's going to stop. Psalm 73 and 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death. But their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. That's why they do whatever the hell they want to do. Because they don't think that there's going to be a, a, a day where they're going to have to pay. 
is so much that they think that the Most High is with them because the Most High hasn't judged them yet. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than hard coercion. Oh boy, is that true. They are corrupt and speak wickedly considering oppression. They speak loftily because they do these things and then they, they don't really don't have a conscience about it. And, and they'll tell you, well, this, this is what you're supposed to do. That's part of the law, see? These devils are, are, are treacherous, man. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. And they set their mouth against the heavens. Why? Because they're saying that they're the most high. Like that one clown, why is why does God and his son have to be black? Is it because you're black? No, motherfucker, because of the truth. All right? It says, um, therefore his people return hither and wa uh, waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. All right, that's pretty much it on that. But the mo main part is the, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh the earth. So let's go from there to Revelation 13 and 1. And I stood upon the sea of, uh, sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten, upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. This is the beast. You know, this represents uh, EU. Uh, um, I'm sorry, this, this is uh, the whole, uh, it's like it. this is the whole structure. The seven heads is the whole power structure of Esau. You know, beginning with the Greeks, and all the way up until uh, um, the, the uh, British, you know, those are the seven heads, you know, all Edomite empires that have ruled on the planet, all right? And the ten horns represent the EU, you know, which is a European uh, common market or the European Union nowadays, which are allies to the beast, all right? And America came out of this, this union, this unholy union here. So now when you jump down to the fifth verse, it says, And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And that's why you see pictures of the Heavenly Father and His Son as white men. And you see pictures of the Heavenly Father, Son, the uh, angels, prophets, and all that as so-called white people. Why? Because the, the wicked, their mouth speaks great things and, 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 they, and they speak blasphemies. They say that they're the people of the Lord. And how dare you even uh, try to make uh, a state claim to be in the Israelites? Are you crazy? You're nothing but niggas and spicks. That's how they view us, as niggas and spicks. You know, that's why they, they're appalled that we would even dare say that the Heavenly Father and His Son are so-called black men. Like, that's just so impossible. <laughs> you know? Amazing, man. You devils, you, that's why you got to be put down. You got to be put down, man. And that's the only solution. You have to be put down and imprisoned and beaten. You know, and you will be in, in, the, in the near future. Once the Lord Yahweh Shai comes back and, and, and puts you down, your, the first uh, job of your so-called international bankers is slavery. That's where you're going, slavery. And nothing can save you. <laughs> can you feel it? Nothing can save you. All right, so... They speak great things and blasphemy. Their whole power structure, going all the way back to their beginnings as the serpent, which is that, that Esau in the garden, as, as a, a man of, of color, came down later through Cain, and that same spirit is in Esau today, the so-called white people. All right, Ezekiel 28, 13, Thou hast been in Eden in the garden of the Most High, and that's where these, these devils were. They were in that garden. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamonds, the barrel, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, the gold, and the workmanship of, the, of thy tablets, and of thy pipes was prepared in the, in the day that thou was created. And when you go back, there was all different types of stones in there, and also you had Israelites up in there, then you had the nations there, which they referred to as trees. And it says, uh, the workmanship of thy tablets, of thy pipes was prepared in the in the day that thou was created because Esau, uh, when the, going back to the the, the uh, sons of Cain, they they used to make musical instruments. You know, matter of fact, let me see if I can get that real quick. Genesis four and uh, nineteen. And Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other Sila. And Ada bare Jabal, and was the father of such as dwell in tents, and such as have cattle. And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. See? And Selah, she also bare two ball cane. So they, these devils, they made in, uh, a musical instruments. That's why it says, Thou hast been in the garden. And it says, The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was, cre that was created. It says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Now, the uh, anointed means chosen. Cherub is, is a mighty one. So they are the, the uh, anointed 
or the uh, chosen mighty ones that cover. And how do they cover? They put a cover over the whole world. And that cover that they put over the whole world was lies. And what's happening right now is that the Most High is using us to, re to remove these covers. Isaiah 25 and 7. And they, when, they, when the cover is being removed, the light is being shined on them. And they don't like that light shining on them. It says, and he will destroy in this mountain, meaning in America, which is the, the, uh, the catalyst or the, the uh, main uh, uh, point of the New World Order. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. So everything that these devils taught the world, we are unteaching it through the spirit and power in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So they're trying to come back and put the cover back on, but it's not working for everybody because people are starting to wake up to these devils. And the veil, excuse me. And the veil that spread over all nations. See, and that's that's being broken down, breaking down strongholds. All right. So going back, uh, that was it. So pretty much, thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so, because the most high set you up to do that. Uh, it says Job 9:24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The most high set you up like that. You know, that's what you were created for. You weren't created to be no uh, uh, a religious or pious or worshiping person of the Heavenly Father. Your daddy is the devil. All right. That's who you're supposed to be worshiping. So just do your job and worship who you're supposed to worship. It says, thou was upon the holy mountain of the Most High. Thou has walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. And they were there. <laughs> it's a lock it, brothers. All right, they were there. All right, so uh, moving on. Uh, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, the most I saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenants in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instructions, and castest my word behind thee? So that you, really, you don't, you devils don't want the, uh, uh, and this is going to be, Lord, with the first scripture I use when I go into that uh, uh, series of scriptures on, on laws that pretty much that you break, you know, that you have broken and that you break every day because you don't like instructions. You don't, do, your, your instructions don't come from, from the right hand side. They come from the left hand side, you know, and you, there's no order in your shit. You do whatever the hell you feel like, you know, and you try to push that spirit on the whole world, that white supremacy, you know, do what thou wilt spirit on the whole world. And it's not working. It's only going to work on the simple-minded people that the Lord doesn't want. The Israelites that the Lord wants, the elect of the Lord, the Israel of God, they're going to be uh, 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 pulled away from you. Because the Lord said that he reserves 7,000 men that have not bowed the knee to Baal. Meaning that there's going to be a certain amount, a complete amount of men out here that will not bow to your will. You got to just go back into history. Check out Daniel and the, and the three children. You know, they didn't bow down to you. They were at the point of death. What happened? The Lord delivered them. And you just keep going on and on through all the different captivities and the different instances that our forefathers found themselves in and were delivered. Sometimes they were put to death. But guess what? Their, their, their uh, reservation is set up. You know, they, they were made pure. They were made white. You know? So you, you thought you got rid of them. But what you did was you martyred them and you made them uh, uh, more, more holy than they already were. All right, so now moving on from here, let me see something. Uh, just bear with me one second. All right, now we're going to move on because these devil's mouth must be stopped. No matter how many times you try to explain it to them and break it down to them, they're not going to listen. They're not going to hearken to the voice of charmers. We've been out there for the longest. They ain't listening. They're not going to listen. And we already knew that. All right. So what has to happen? They have to be put down. That's the only solution. Psalms 2 and 8. This is this is a, a, something that was given to Yahweh Shai. We're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. So we're going to receive the same blessings that he receives if we be the men that be delivered in this first go round, the first resurrection. It says, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And that's what, what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the Lord to give us these nations in possession. You know, we're asking the Lord to put these nations under our feet. 
You know, so we could rule and, and, and set everything back in order the way it's supposed to be. Through the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Because that's the only thing these devils understand. A swift bust, busting up upside, upside the head with a big ass uh, uh, um, um, rod of iron. Just crashing it down on their head. Blow! You know, and then they'll get, they'll get it right. They're not going to listen. These devils are not equipped to listen and hear reason or hear righteousness. The only thing they're going to hear is, is that, that, that uh, uh, rod of iron crashing on top of their head. And they, then they're going to get in order. And they're still going to be the devil. And that's why we're going to have to whoop their ass for, for a thousand years. You know? And after that, round them up and burn them up. Because even after that thousand years, they're not going to get it. Matter of fact, there's a scripture in the book of uh, Proverbs. I'm not sure if... I know it's towards the latter books. Um... Uh, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Proverbs 27, 22. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar, in mortar among wheat with a pestle, you, you, take, you take wheat, you take a mortar, you take a pestle, and you, and you stir this devil up in, in righteousness, right? And you're trying to you know, get that foolishness away from him. Yet will not his foolishness depart from him because they are created to be the wicked. What are they created for? To be the wicked. And what is their, their judgment? Well, let's find out. This is Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So that's the, the, they were created to be destroyed. The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, as it says in Romans the ninth chapter. All right? So it says, uh, Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. This is Psalms 2 and 9. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a pot is clay. All right? And that's what we're waiting for. So I'm just going to jump on. You brothers can read the rest of it. Revelation 2 and 25. But that which you have already, hold fast till I come. And that's why we have to hold fast to these things that we were taught, to this doctrine. Because this gospel that we were taught is, is what's going to save our lives in the end. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. You know? So that's why we have to hold on to it. You can't be like them other guys that, that turn turned back and then uh, started teaching different things, you know, started corrupting the, the doctrine, started corrupting the gospel, because they're going to be destroyed for that. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And that's what we're waiting for, man, power over the nations. These other nations are not going to get it, especially Esau. They're not going to get it. You have these uh, uh, wacky Christians crusading, for these devils, and they don't crusade for the Chinese or the Japanese or the Africans or no, nobody else but the white man. What about the white man? What about the white man? And there's usually a Negro or, or, or Latino tribe that's crusading for these devils. These devils ain't crusading for you, man. They don't give a good goddamn about you. They don't give a damn how you how you uh, 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 how you doing. But you wasting your time uh, uh, looking at them, trying to save them. Fuck them, man, and fuck you too. So, you know, going back, he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And that's what's, what's, what's going to tie it all together. When we get power, right now they're not going to listen. What they're going to do, they're going to keep sending their agents, their flunkies, you know, and they're going to keep being battered down by the truth, by the words of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, until the Most High gets tired of these devils and comes back and destroys them. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So, Yahweh Shai is going to be bashing you across the head. We're going to be bashing you across the head. So, there's no hope for you, man. You're just going to get beat down. And that's the only time you're going to get it together. You're going to get in some kind of order. Because you're going to have a pipe crashing on top of your head. You know, and, and uh, other, other uh, methods. You know, the scriptures say that our hearts shall meditate terror. That's just one instance you know one that comes right off the cuff all right all right so moving on from here why do i have our uh, revelation 13 and 9 if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity and that's what's happening they you let us into captivity you're gonna go into captivity that's plain as day he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword you killed us with the sword you gotta die by the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So this is what we've been patiently waiting for. For the Lord 
to uh, uh, give us power over you and that we may, may be able to put you in captivity and subjection where you belong. Because you're nothing but slaves on the loose. That's what you are. You're slaves on the loose. Isaiah 24, 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. Why? Because these international bankers, they, they, there's, there's no stopping them. They've just rolling on doing whatever the hell they want to do. Being more and more wicked. You know? And they're going to continue to be that way because that's how they were created. Until the Lord takes them down. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. So the Lord's coming back to destroy and, and pretty much... To, de to destroy this wicked empire and to take down these uh, wicked rulers, you know, beginning with the international bankers. They're going to be taken down and stopped because they have to be stopped. Otherwise, they'll just destroy the earth, the people, and themselves. That's how much of a devil these devils are. It says, uh, and, and, the kings upon, uh, and the kings of the earth upon the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. And shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. And that's what we're waiting for. For these devils to be uh, put into, into prison, so to speak. To be put in subjection. Because that's the only time they're going to stop with that verbal diarrhea. Or uh, uh, bringing out that, spitting out that venom out, of, out their pie hole. Alright? Now, moving on from there. Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of the strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Now you think they're going to voluntarily do this? No. That's why they're fighting, you know, and, and lying, you know, teaching that garbage, that ver uh, verbal diarrhea out their mouth. You know? I'm about talking about the Most High and his son are white, white men. Because it says his, uh, the, the, his head and his hair were, were white like wool. First of all, there's no such thing as a white person. The, the term term white represents purity. All right? Look it up. It says, um, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and their kings may be brought. And, and, and you see, the kings are going to be the first ones that taste of slavery, beginning with the international bankers, you Edomites. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, Yea, those nations shall utterly be wasted. And after a thousand years, you Edomites, you so-called white people, you will be wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, the bo and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Because that place already looks like hell now. The land of Israel. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. Bending means servitude. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And, and, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Because now they call us what? Niggas, spooks, spicks, wetbacks, tontos, you know? Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. And man, that's going to be that's gonna be beautiful, man. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of kings, meaning we're going to take their riches. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. And it goes on where you can read the rest of it. I'm just getting some points, and then I'm going to close the lesson out. Jeremiah 30 and 16, it says, uh, Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. And right now, ain't nobody seeking after the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They don't recognize us as being Israelites. We weren't going to be reckoned among the nations, as it says. But that's all right because that's who the Lord deals with. He deals with the underdog, you know. So the only solution for this devil, matter of fact, let me pull this devil up. The only solution for these devils is to, to uh, be broken down, be put in slavery, and after a thousand years burnt up. Because they're not going to stop lying until the, uh, we get the upper hand through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem and Shai. That's what they were created to do and that's what they're going to do. You know, so these devils like this demon right here, you know, they're going to keep doing what they do. But that's all right. Keep doing what you're doing because your Howard Bashem is going to keep doing what he's doing. And this place is going to be uh, brought down soon. America, Babylon the Great will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. And when you see them chariots come through the sky, which you call uh, UFOs, know that that's the Heavenly Father's Son with the angels 
black men, so-called black men, coming through the, through the clouds, shooting lasers out of those uh, uh, vehicles and tearing your ass up. All right, and then after, not shortly after that, you go, you, your international bankers will be the first ones, and you are uh, 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 heads of these other nations. I'll be the first one to taste of slavery, man, and it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And that's the only solution, cause you can't talk to these devils. They're gonna keep spewing that venom out as long as they're here on the planet, you know, cause it's that white supremacy, as brothers been saying all along. They feel that they have white privilege, white supremacy, and 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 and, and that shit is going down the drain, man. It is down the drain. So with that, I hope you brothers have been edified to the next time I say Shalom.